Welcome back to my channel everybody. Three tips here and today I'm gonna work on some electronic scrap I got back here that's been sitting in there for years now. Here's my chest set. I have not forgot about that and I'm gonna complete that in a future video but what we're gonna do for right now is we're gonna get these cards down and we're gonna trim the gold fingers part right down there we're gonna trim the gold fingers off of these and throw them in a bath and get them to render or give up their foils I bought these cards I don't know years ago when I bought a whole bunch of scrap to uh, make some other videos so these things are just sitting here doing nothing so we might as well get them out and computer scrap is real popular everybody loves computer scrap except me the uh, yields are just too pitifully low and so but we're gonna go ahead and do a video on refining the uh, fingers off of these cards like I said uh, the yield is going to be real low so don't expect too much from this somebody suggested using this thing to uh, trim these off so I'm going to give it a shot here we go all right that worked pretty good this is going to be scrap the only gold that's on there is the gold plating for these fingers it's very thin but if the uh, card didn't have that that's where it connects plugs into a slot and a motherboard on a computer if it didn't have that gold coating then the computer would fail and stop working in about a week due to corrosion these things are on there to prevent corrosion and to make sure that a uh, continuity of flow of uh, current or electricity goes through and gets to the cards so it can do what it's supposed to do. So I'm just going to sit here and trim all these off. I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole group here, but just wanted to show you. Somebody suggested using one of these, and it seems to work pretty good. It's not as hard as uh, trying to sit there and cut them off one by one with a pair of... Uh, handheld snips so we'll cut these off and then we'll uh, we'll return and show you how we're going to get the gold off of these trimmed circuit card fingers this camera doesn't do close-ups very well but I think all these little circles on here for the chips to be set in they might be gold I don't know but I scraped a file across the uh, the tracks there and I looked at it with a magnifier. The GoPro doesn't give a good close-up, so you can't see it. But there's pink metal underneath where I scraped the solder mask off. What that tells me is, is these are little trails of copper, not gold. So there's very, even if we could get the gold off of these little circles, it'd be very little, if any, kind of yield uh, for the amount of work that we'd have to spend to get the uh, to get the gold recovered off of here. I normally do not refine computer scrap because the yields are too low. But I figured since I had these setting up, I'd get them out and make a video about it. There's nothing worse than spending a whole bunch of time processing all this stuff and then coming up with just a half or a quarter of a gram. Okay, my, uh, my fingers were being chopped off and they were flying across the room. So I put this heavy box right here and propped up a piece of cardboard. So they quit doing that and I didn't have to stop and go pick them up, find them on the floor. So this is working pretty good. Whoever suggested using one of these uh, paper cutters 
Bravo Zulu is a good suggestion. circuit cards. Now I'm going to gather these up and we're going to get a weight on the trimmed fingers here so we can uh, calculate a yield. Let me get my scale down here. Let's see here. Got this plate. I'm going to put that on our scale. You see the numbers. Zero it out. Now we're going to put all our scratches here. Get a weight on these trim fingers. This particular scrap is some of the richest computer scrap that you can deal with. That's why I chose to do circuit card fingers here because it's a high, highest yielding of most computer scrap. Alright, we got 298 grams of trimmed circuit card fingers. I'm going to use a uh, tall two liter beaker here to do the reaction to lift the foils off of the uh, fiber. And the reason I'm using a big beaker like this is I don't want to crowd it. I'm just going to add our trimmed fingers to the two liter beaker. Here's our trimmed fingers and a tall two liter beaker. What I'll do now is add some hydrochloric acid. Uh, hydrochloric acid is muriatic acid, and muriatic acid is hydrochloric acid. They are one in the same. Bought this at the hardware store for about eight bucks a gallon, maybe ten. I'm gonna put uh, enough hydrochloric acid in here to completely cover all the fingers. All right, that's up to the uh, 1,000 milliliter level. Got to do this in a well-ventilated area. You can see we got fumes coming up off of there. Those fumes will gag, yeah, if you breathe them. So you don't want to breathe these fumes. Now I've got hydrogen peroxide in here, 3%. Hydrogen peroxide, like you buy at the grocery store or at the drugstore, over the counter. And I'm just going to add about half a liter of this in. Uh, about a half a liter of hydrogen peroxide. stir here to get it all mixed up real well. Uh, now what we'll do, it's got some paper in there from the uh, hydrogen peroxide bottle. That's not a problem. I'm going to take this out now and we're going to start bubbling some air through it. What will happen is the action of the hydrogen peroxide and the hydrochloric acid will dissolve the base metals underneath the gold foils and then cause those gold foils to lift off the fiber board and release and start floating free in this solution. So now we're gonna go put it out, uh, bubble some air through it, here we go. 
Here you can see the reaction has already started. The solution has turned green. There's some bubbling and fizzing going on as the acid starts to dissolve the base metals underneath those gold foils. I'm outside now. That's my uh, waste treatment bucket and my stock pot. My stock pot is the little bucket there on the right. And I've moved those outdoors to, uh, they make a little fumes, a little bit of fumes as they uh, react. So I put those outdoors and I'll put our experiment out here as well. And uh, I'm gonna use the bubbler out of the stock pot to bubble some air through the uh, hydrogen peroxide and hydrochloric acid in the fingers there. That stock pot in the back, it needs to uh, settle out so I can siphon the uh, liquid out of there into the waste treatment bucket. The waste treatment bucket's the bucket over there on the left. Now we'll cover this up to keep the rain off of it. I just got the trimmed fingers bubbling, some hydrochloric acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide. So I figured I haven't checked this yet today. There's my silver cell. You can see it's got a whole bunch of pure silver crystal growing in there. This is about uh, 10 days or nine days worth of growth. Those crystals are getting very close to the uh, anode basket. So I've got to knock them down. Uh, if they touch the anode basket, they'll burn a hole through it. Release the slimes from inside the anode filter and ruin this batch of silver. Here's the anode basket. That's the impure silver shot that gets fed into the silver cell. Electric current passes through it. Silver ions travel through that silver nitrate, that blue liquid, silver nitrate electrolyte. And then they plate out on the inside of my stainless steel bowl the stainless steel bowl is connected to a uh, power supply up here. And uh, the silver plates out as absolutely pure elemental silver metal. There's about 1.5 kilos of pure silver in here. This is about an hour into the reaction. Notice that the solution has turned an olive green color as more of the base metals dissolve and go into solution. So we'll just let this set until all of the foils get released from the fiber board. All right, short and sweet. This will conclude part one of the video series here. On the trim circuit card fingers, had those things laying around, so I figured I might as well break them out and uh, run them through the process. They're in the solution out there, bubbling, with air bubbling through it, and that's going to take probably about 24 to maybe even 48 hours to completely lift all of the foils off the fiber board. And then once we get the uh, foils, the gold foils lifted off the fiber board, then we'll do the refining on it with uh, bleach and hydrochloric acid. Uh, for that amount of fingers, that was just under 300 grams of fingers, which is roughly about two thirds of a pound or so. And with that amount of fingers, I'm expecting right around one gram of pure gold from this experiment. Okay, that'll conclude the video. Thanks for watching.